guy Sean here back from the beach today I believe is day 18 or day 19 I have to do a proper count of the uh, 2.6 gallon pico reef and you probably noticed two inhabitants that weren't here before uh, these are my maroon clown babies and they were in the 125 gallon tank and they were struggling to to keep up with the current they're kind of hanging around the surface not really uh doing anything with the live rock not going down to the sand so i decided to move them up to the uh, 2.6 gallon to help with the cycle you know bring some ammonia to the table and uh let them grow in here a little bit so they're going to be hanging out in this tank for a little while and once they get a little larger uh they'll go back to the 125 gallon or whatever form that tank will be in um, i'm planning on transitioning it to a, a cube so when i came home from the beach there was a uh, bloom going on in the tank the the sand was brown you could see some of the, the specks of it still you'll notice that the live rock has changed color it was a nice purple nice deep purple color before and now it's kind of brownish so uh, there is some cycling going on in the tank and I believe that was mostly induced by uh, I put an automatic feeder uh, three-day feeder in the tank to uh, kept uh, keep the inhabitants fed in case my roommate forgot to do it so I have a Water test that I did before, I did a three-quarter gallon water change last night, and we'll just go over the results real quick. Uh, pH looks to be normal, about 7.8, 8.0, thereabouts. Ammonia looks to be zero right now. Nitrite is zero, and... Nitrate has come down somewhat. You see the orange is lightened up. So it's probably, I'd say about 20 ppm right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to the residents. In addition to the two maroon clowns, you see the clown goby. Pac-Man hanging out there in the back. I added um, some Astria snails, two of them. There's one there. There's one on the bottom of the rock. And I also added a crab. Uh, he's hanging out underneath. He's been walking around the whole tank. He's been going up the, uh, the live rock, picking away at stuff. So, between all of them. They're keeping the um, Pico tank, Pico reef tank, fairly clean. You can see the Nocera snail has a snot up there. So he's rummaging around, I'm sure, underneath the sand for food. And we have the coral band shrimp there in the back. And he did not far as I know destroy any of the sexy shrimp now I can only find five of them there were six uh, when I left for the beach and I saw some molten in the back of the filter so I don't know if one of them perished or if it molted but I can only find five in the aquarium right now so <clears throat> just to document I did do the in tank um, upgrade I'm going to go ahead and try to get in there on that. And it's a sweet setup. I did a foam filter on the top. Along with some um, Biomax. Some ammonia remover on top of some charcoal. All Fluval branded stuff. 
You can see the uh, sexy shrimp hanging out there on top. There's three of them. And the other two are scattered throughout. Here they are. There's one there. And one there. So I can't find a sixth one. I don't know where he is. So one of the things I'll mention is I tried to put the Rio 800 pump in here and that failed spectacularly. Uh, number one, the uh, clown fish uh, had to hide behind the rock because the current was so strong. It was like there was a tornado going on in the water and uh, the coral banded shrimp could barely uh, walk around. It was actually pretty hilarious. I should have videotaped it and I was probably about to videotape it, but as I was moving around the nozzle, uh, the hose popped off, and it was squirting water all over the place, and uh, it was it was a gigantic mess uh, here last night. So um, instead of videotaping it, I had to clean it up, and uh, hence no hilarious video. But uh, in some of my earlier earlier videos, you will see uh, what I was attempting to do. So the factory. Um, pump is back in there and I'm going to maybe just look at uh, doing uh, one of the tried and true methods of upgrading the pump so that's that's the verdict on that and I'm going to go ahead and end this video now so uh, thank you for watching um, by the way the next time I film I should have the um, Kessel A80 in place at that point uh, I expect it to be delivered either today or tomorrow, and I'm actually going to be changing the heater to a more um, reliable heater. Uh, not that the heater in here is bad, but it's kind of big. It's a 50 watt, and I'm downgrading to a 25 watt with a built-in uh, thermostat. So, those will be the next upgrades uh, when I come back. So right now the factory light is still installed. And uh, next time you see me, I will be rocking an A80. So thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.